Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel about aviation. Today we will discuss the topic of this video, how to become a pilot. I will talk to you about professional pilot program from zero to hero. Uh, I will explain you the whole process, how you can start your flight training to achieve your goal to become a pilot for airlines or for business jet operations and corporate pilot. First of all, when you apply for flight school, you will start from the simple basic flight training. We call this program a private pilot program. This is the fundamental basic program you need to go through before you will step up. Private pilot program usually takes about two to three months depending from your schedule and uh, it's required not less than 40 hours of flight time, including 20 hours of flight training with instructor on board and some sort of ground school. I will not go deep inside in part 61 regulations, part 141 regulations. You will have this information on the website from flight school. You can go to www.skyeagle.aero and you will see all information about entry requirements and what is the program includes. Now I would like just to give you overall information how this process looks like. When you finish your private pilot program and you pass your check right, your first check right in this career, you will move on to next stage. The next step is the instrument rating. Uh, why we need to teach you how to about instrument rating? Because you need to know how to fly in uh, low visibility and without uh, visual reference. Uh, using only instruments. So instrument course is also designed for two, maybe three months and you need to fly at least 40 hours of flight training under simulated or actual instrument conditions. Before you go to the check ride, you also need to build some time. Depending from what program you choose, 61 or 141, you need to build at least 50 hours of cross-country flight time as a pilot in command or for part 141 you can just go straight to instrument rating. Here you will have your second check ride and second examination to fly only by instruments. As soon as you pass your instrument check ride you will have qualification private pilot with instrument rating which allows you to fly in visual and instrument conditions, meteorological conditions. As soon as you finish your instrument uh, rating, you need to start building your hours. Why you need to start building time? Because for commercial pilot license, which is your next step, you have to have at least 100 of flight time as a pilot in command. Usually after private pilot and instrument rating, you will have about 60, maybe 70 hours as a pilot in command. So you need to build a little bit more time, about 30 hours as a pilot in command. Uh, in the Cessna 172, for example, the plane we use in, in the flight school. Then you will start your commercial pilot training. Usually commercial pilot training is not so long. It's going to take about months, maybe two months. And uh, you will train in a single piston airplane and you will train to do some commercial maneuvers like lazy aids or chandelles and other ground reference maneuvers. During this program, you will also fly some advanced technology airplanes with uh, autopilot and digital screens. This is requirements you need to complete before uh, graduate from commercial pilot program. And here you will have your third check right. This is commercial pilot license check right. The whole program from private pilot to commercial pilot can take up to six, maybe eight months. It all depends from your schedule. If you have your personal schedule and you can fly it three times a week, for example, it can take up to a year. If you're full-time student and you dedicate it, completely dedicate your time for flight training, you can complete this program in six months. I know some students who could complete this program in four months, actually. We had this experience at Sky Eagle Aviation Academy before. So as soon as you complete commercial pilot uh, training and you got your first commercial pilot license, technically you can apply for some pilot job. But to be honest, uh, not 
too many companies in the United States will hire you with 250 hours of flight time because it's really, really low time of flight experience to be employed. All industry required to have at least 1000 hours to get some simple job in uh, turboprop airplanes or cargo planes or in the best case scenario in a jet. So the question is rising, how to build additional flight time? And here is I can give you just two advices. The two main options which is available for any graduates from commercial pilot program. The first one, you need to go for the flight instructor course and airplanes. And this is CFI program and you will apply to fly school uh, to work as a flight instructor. The second way, you can buy your plane or you can buy a share in a plane. Or you can buy a plane with your friends. You can share time of this plane between you guys and you will start flying for yourself. You can fly cross-country flights, you can visit different uh, cities, you can fly up to north to New York or Niagara Falls or you can go to Chicago, or you can go to West Coast and back and you will build your hours. This way is not pretty cheap but because you still need to pay for fuel, you still need to pay some maintenance expenses, but it's much cheaper than rent airplane from flight school or renter company. Um, this is an option if you have time and if you have ability to buy a plane. Let's go back to C5 program. I already started talking to you about uh, flight instructor program. When you complete your commercial pilot training, you can apply for flight instructor training. It usually take not too long, but I would say it's really comprehensive and not easy program because you need to learn a lot about the learning process, how to teach people to fly airplanes, how to provide them with knowledges they need to know to become a pilot. So it looks like you're going back to school when you've been a, a student, but you need to train new students. In my personal opinion, this is great school for yourself because when you start teaching other people, your knowledge is improving and your amount of knowledge and your flight skills is improving significantly. For example, when I start flying as a flight instructor, I realized that my flight training was, was pretty good, but I still had a lot of knowledge gaps, uh, for example, in, in uh, federal aviation regulations. When you become an instructor, you need to know everything because you need to provide this information to your students. This is really great experience and my personal advice, don't skip this step. You can become a flight instructor and practice as a flight instructor at least for one year. You will not only build an hours, but you will also have some salary. Uh, it's not a big money to be honest, but it's a pretty decent money so you can return back your expenses you paid for your flight training. I don't think you will return the 100%, but you can return at least 25-30% of your expenses and cost of your professional pilot program. During the time you work as a flight instructor, of course you build in the time. You build your flight hours, which is the most valuable experience you have as a pilot. Upon reaching 1000 hours, I can tell you a lot of airlines, especially regional airlines, will hunting for your hat and they will ask you to join their company. It's a bunch of regional airlines uh, in the United States like Mesa, Republic, American Eagle. All of them is hiring newborn pilots with about 1000, between 1000 and 1200 hours. So just to, as a conclusion, your main goal as a flight instructor for your future aviation career is to build at least 1000 hours. As soon as you reach this point of 1000 hours, you can be interested for airlines. What next? You can ask me, okay, I have 1000 hours, what I need to do? As I said, when you reach this 1000 hours, you probably will have some offers from regional airlines. If you don't have them, just send a resume. Just send your CV to airlines, 
send it to corporate aviation business jet part 135 companies and i believe you will receive a few offers go to interview talk to the people meet the chief pilots and of course during your flight training you will grow your network and you will know more people involved in aviation business if you're a good pilot if you're a really good instructor somebody will recommend you to airlines somebody will recommend you to part 135 Somebody will send you links and contact information of chief pilots or director of operations in different companies. So you will know a lot of people who can help you to start your aviation career. Then you have choice. Uh, I know some students really targeted in airlines industry. They would like to be hired to airlines and start part 121 operations, which is regular scheduled flights. Uh, as I said, you can start from MESA, from American Eagles, from Republic and different regional airlines can uh, offer you some job. You will start as a first officer, of course. But if you like to grow really fast and if you would like to upgrade to captain in, in a few years, you can start your aviation career in the charter business, part 135 operations. This will give you a booster because you can start as a first officer and in two years, you can be upgraded to captain. You will not fly big airline. You will not fly a big airplane like 50 seats or 180 seats like Airbus 320. But you will fly Citation 10 or maybe Honda Jet or maybe Learjet with 8 to 10, maybe 12 passengers on board. And it's a different life, not similar to airlines, but it's still interesting life. Let me give you an example from our flight school about one instructor who started his training back in 2019 and today in June 2022 he is in a class for Atlas for Boeing 747. I will explain you how it happens and believe me you will be surprised. Uh, I have a friend his name Yeager and he joined our flight school in January 2019 as a student. He showed up in this room and he told me, I would like to become a pilot. I said, mm, really? Yes, it was his dream from the childhood and he decided to become a pilot. So long story short, he started his training in January 2019 and he completed this training in six months. So in June 2019, he became a flight instructor. He got his first license as a flight instructor. In July 2019, he became a flight instructor with instrument training. Allows him to teach people how to fly uh, under instrument meteorological conditions. And he started work for Sky Eagle Aviation Academy as a flight instructor. So next step, in December of 2019, he starts flying for charter airline company on a small piston single engine aircraft, Cirrus SR-20. He started building hours as a pilot, as a corporate pilot in charter operations. He used to work as a flight instructor and corporate pilot for more than one year. He built in hours and in March 2021, he reached the 1,500 hours flight time, which allows him to become airline pilot. So he went through the ATP CTP program and he got his ATP license in March 2021. Right after that, in June 2021, Honda jet operator invited him as a first officer to join the company. So he started flying as a part 135 first officer in Honda jet. And right away after that, another company, Charter Airlines, invited him to join as a first officer on a Citation 10, eight seaters business jet. So he started flying as a first officer on a citation. And right after that, he was upgraded as a captain to Honda jet. One more time, it was August 2021. And less than 12 months later, today, in June 2022, he is sitting in a class for Boeing 747 in Atlas. So let's see, in less than three years, in, since January 2019, 
until today, a little bit more than three years. Uh, Jaeger complete the full path from zero to hero. And now he is ready to start his aviation career in a big cargo company named Atlas here in Miami on the Queen Boeing 747. This plane is a dream for many, many, many pilots and young people. And uh, his dream is becoming true. Now, Jaeger has 4,100 total flight time and one divorce. If you would like to join us uh, as a future pilot, if you would like to start your aviation career as a pilot, if you would like to start your training and you see yourself in a big airliner or corporate jet, go to our website www.skyeagle.era and join us. Flight training is a lot of fun. It's not only hard working, but it's a lot of fun. Everybody here in Sky Eagle Aviation enjoy what we are doing every day. We allow people to make dreams true. If you like this video, please push the button like, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends. If you have any questions about flight training or about aviation career, uh, send me a comment below this video. I'm trying to answer all comments I received. Thank you.